Hi guys, oh, welcome to another video. Today's video we have a simple, quick, trying new products, get ready for work with me edition. I wanted to play in this new makeup that I hauled the other day and just see, you know, before I let it sit, if I actually like it. So if you want to see the products I use, what I think of these products, how they apply to my skin, did I get the color right, and all of that, make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hey guys, it's me. We are back again with another everyday makeup look using some new products I picked up here and there. First up is this ABH Brow Freeze. It's a brow styling wax that I picked up from Sephora when it was on sale for like $11.50. So I'm using my spoolie. This was my first time actually using this product so I was unsure on how to use it. So, let me zoom y'all in. <laughs> so, I applied it to my brows first, and then I went in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set it after it dried down. For primer today, I'm using my YSL Blur Primer along with my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream to prime my face with today. I was getting ready for work this day so I decided of course to hit the record button because I was using some new products and it's always good to uh, talk to you all while I use new products. I'm always going to use the e.l.f. Cookies and Dream. It don't matter what new primer I get, I'm going to use that on top of the new primer always. <laughs> It's just something about that Cookies and Dream. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's got a hold on me because I refuse to put it down. So then I took my Revolution Pro Blur Line Filler to fill in my smile lines. And for foundation today, I used the, well, I'm going in with concealer. So this is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Matte Concealer in Deep Chestnut. I decided just to go in with concealer today because the eye look I was doing was more neutral dark colors. Well, it started off that way, as you can see. In my mind, it started off that way. So I was like, well, I could just use a concealer. And this 16 Hour is matte. So I wasn't like scared that it was going to be too wet or, you know, not... Um, my eyeshadows wouldn't stick to it. I knew that the eyeshadows would stick to it. So I just put down that um, in deep chestnut if I didn't say. So I picked up this Muffets palette from Ulta. It was just something about this palette that kept calling my name, kept calling my name when it first launched. So I just waited for it to go on sale and then I eventually picked it up from Ulta. But I'm using the dark brown shade at the bottom and right now the palette is not in front of me so I have no idea. But I'll make sure to list it in the description box. So I'm just packing that all over my lid. I initially only wanted to use a one color. Because I was going for like a dark, dark brown, almost black, smoky eye. But then you'll see that I popped a pop of gold in the center. So I'm just packing that on with a fluffy Amazon blending brush and blending it out. And as you can see, that shade is a very, very... Deep. ColourPop just knows how to make eyeshadows. They know how to make them pop. They know how much pigment to put in them. I, You can complain about a lot of ColourPop products, but one thing you can't complain about is their eyeshadows. ColourPop eyeshadows are phenomenal to me. That and their chocolate, their brown lip liner. I wonder, I need to go on their website because I used to have BFF4 and that was the Shayla in ColourPop collection. I wonder if they still sell BFF4. I used to love that. And now this is the gold shade. So I decided just to do the middle with gold. So I guess this would be like a halo eye or something. So I just did the middle gold. Then I made sure to go back in with the brown shade to smooth out the edges, you know, to calm them down. <laughs> just a little bit but I only use two shades y'all when it comes to me and eyeshadow I like looks different kind of looks but I also you know try to keep it as simple as I can because I will confuse y'all and I'll confuse myself too if I try to do too much at one time so I have to slowly build myself up and that's just me just keep looking in the mirror going back with the brown Going back with the gold, making sure everything is blended as it should be. So I took my NYX 
Bear With Me Blur in shade 19. Another new item from Ulta. Absolutely in love with this foundation. Right now it's in my top five out of the new foundations I've picked up recently. I love it. This is a perfect everyday foundation. If you're looking for something to wear to work or wherever every day and not break your bank, this is it. It's $14. This shade 19 is a perfect match. To me, it's kind of like a soft matte finish. It's not a very tight and drying matte. It's a soft matte finish, which throughout the day, my natural oils pick up, start shining through. I love that look. And I just look radiant, like a glow from within. So yeah, I've been using this. I used it since I brought it for the whole work week. So yeah. I Oh, NYX. <laughs> NYX has been around for a while and they get it right. They get it right most of the time. I love this foundation. Next up, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in 11.2 in my Thread Beauty Foundation Stick in 210. I know y'all said, now you use the same products every time you do a video, but yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I do. I use the same products until I run out or until I find something that beats the one I was using. And usually that's kind of hard because I usually don't find anything that tops my top five. But sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. So I'm just using that concealer. And I need to pick up a new concealer because I went to use it today to do a video and I was scraping like the size of the bottle. So I really need to dig deeper and hunt that concealer down. When I was at Ulta, not Ulta, when I was in Target the other day, looking at the concealers, I saw some concealers, but I didn't see that shade. And I need that Pacific shade, 11.2. So here I am just blending it out with my damp Cara Beauty sponge. As always, I'll blend out the concealer first. And also today when I did my makeup, this wasn't in this video, but when I did my makeup today, I blended out the contour first and then I blended out the concealer and I felt like it came out just a tad bit better. So I'm going to try that method for a while to see if I still like it. But yeah, I, blend, I guess I, that I gave the concealer time to sit and really become like, give me more coverage. So I enjoyed that look today that I did. But I'm just blending it out with a Vuglam bronzer brush that I have and then I blend out my nose contour with my random shop miss a brush and as you can see I haven't filled in my eyebrows yet because I was really really trying to let the brow gel set my eyebrows and they they were on there trust me they were on there and this is my elf setting powder or pressed powder in a light to medium since i use my essence banana brighten up banana powder all the time i said oh i saw i found this in my stash so i'm like oh i'll try this and here i am like oh that's bright <laughs> but it actually works just like the essence brighten up banana powder and I, I think I enjoy using pressed powders underneath my eye more so than I do loose powders. I've just recently started doing that and I enjoy that so much more. So here I am taking my Ruby Kisses dark brown eyebrow uh, pencil to fill in my brows. And I kept this clipping because I used the brow wax today, so I wanted to show you all how they came out. Since I have used that brow wax, I have been using it non-stop. I feel like it gives my eyes, my eyebrows the like bushy effect that I've always been trying to get like for the longest time. I just have to make sure that my pencil is like sharp. It can't be like a dull pencil because then that's a lot of work. I just try to make sure I sharpen it before I use it. But I feel like it. I'm able to see the spaces I need to fill in more. And as you can see, my eyebrows now, they look bushy and full. My friend actually asked me, did I tint my eyebrows? I'm like, no, I just filled them in. So that let me know that my eyebrows were looking really good. <laughs> so then I'll take my Ruby Kisses dark brown gel eyeliner and feeling like the tail end of my eyebrows along with any sparse areas 
if I can find the brush that I'm looking for. Any sparse areas that I might have, I just lightly fill that in. It, that's another item that I'm always going to use. My Ruby Kisses Gel Dark Brown Eyeliner. I just can't get away from it. Even if I didn't need it, I'm still going to find a reason to have to use it that day. That's just, and that's just one of the things that sits on my desk always. I have to use it. Whether I'm lining my eyes with it or I'm doing my brows with it, I just have to use it. And here I am doing upward motions to get my eyebrows like a something. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I learn right along with yo, you all all the time. Like when y'all give me tips and stuff, I try it. I'm learning right with you all. So I'm using the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This was my first time using it in Joy. And I'm like, whoo. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? I, I think I have a video up already where I use the brush blush, but this was my first time actually using it. And I'm like, okay, it's going to be okay because it gives me like an orange peach tint, which I'm okay with. It's not too much for me. I like blush, but not too much blush. Like too much blush I get scared and then I cover it up with my powder but that's just a, the right amount right there this actually is a beautiful beautiful blush then I take my Juvia's Place a deep dark bronzer duo mix the two shades and contour give me some warmth back to my face and I did not set this blush. I don't know if you're supposed to set this blush, but I didn't, and it was fine throughout the entire day. I'm using the Superstay Maybelline Pressed Powder, the original one, in 355 Coconut to dust off any excess powder and to set the remainder of my face. I enjoy the original more than I do the new version, even though the new version is okay. It's just okay. I prefer the old one, so Maybelline, if you're listening, bring it back. I'm taking... What did I take? Oh, Americano Brown. This was from Makeup Revolution in Real Life Collection. It's a lip liner in Americano Brown. So I used that to line my lips with. And that brown was okay. It was just okay. Then I decided to go in with the liquid lipstick in Americana Brown. Still by Makeup Revolution in Real Life Collection. This is new at Ulta. It was $7 for that. And that brown is okay. And then I took, I have no idea what that is. Is it in front of me? Yeah. Still Make a Revolution. And this is in the shade Chai Nude. So I took that to fill in the center of my lips. Y'all know I'm always going to go in with a nude shade. It's just something with me with browns and nude. I think that's my go-to lip. I don't try to do anything else. So that brown wasn't giving me what I was looking for. So then I went in with my MAC Chestnut <laughs> to deepen it up. I always say I don't want to get deep with it. But then I always go with MAC Chestnut and then go deep with it. And then my butter cloth and fortune cookie to give me some glossy lips. I'll spray my face and then we're okay, all Okay guys, done. I'm back after using an assortment of new products i'm in love with that foundation and i can't find it oh here it is it's bear with me blur by nyx shade 19 i'm in love with this foundation i think it's so good for my everyday makeup look it's really lightweight i don't feel anything on my skin it does not transfer i wore, I wore this the other day to work and it didn't transfer i think this is a really nice foundation i was actually shocked by the blush when I first applied it, I got a little scared because it was kind of bright. But once blended out, I think it looks really, really natural on my brown skin. So I need to give the other shades, once they get in stock, a try. And I didn't set it, you know, like put another blush on top of it. And it's still pigmented. So we'll see how this wears throughout the day. But overall, I think my face just looks really, really simple work makeup <laughs> even though my eyeshadow i started off with doing a brown smoky eye and then put glitter on top i'm crazy like that yeah <laughs> but yeah just nice and simple work makeup if you had tried some new products if you try any of these new products let me know your thoughts on it i always like to hear what you all think of products because i value your opinion like i love having conversations about makeup and what works for you and what doesn't work for you and what you want to try and all of that so make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you later bye guys